OMG, I have been flooded with questions this week, so it's time that I should answer them. So you have questions, I have answers, so let's do this. Welcome to the Dr. Finch YouTube channel where you have questions and I have answers. So now let's begin, right? So first question was, how did you decide that you wanted to be in social media? Social media kind of happened for me. I, in 2008, I was helping soldiers find jobs and I wanted a different approach. And during that time, social media was coming of age. It was new, it was fresh, it was different. And I used LinkedIn to help these soldiers find jobs to get truly connected with the outside world to pass by the middleman and get to the people that they wanted to get to. And many were successful in this uh, endeavor because we use LinkedIn. So from there, I was intrigued to see if I could do it on Facebook and Twitter too. And of course, they both worked. And since then, I have been using all the social media channels to get my voice out, to be heard, and then of course, to network and advocate for others. Question two. So... Is social media really all that they say it is? Answer, uh, yeah. <laughs> it is all that and more. Like, ah. Uh, I have created so many connections and networks. I uh, had different speaking opportunities, different business ventures. Um, sky is the limit off of social media. But see, the thing is, it does take time and it does take work. Just like any good thing, it does take work. You can't just put a picture up there and think that you're going to go viral tomorrow. It doesn't work that way, boo. You have to actually put some work in. Because if you don't put the work in, then you don't get the results that you want. So, I'm just saying, if you're ready to put your message out to the world and you're ready to put a little skin in the game, then social media is for you because it's a two-way conversation. They see you, they fall in love with you, they hit the no like and trust factor, and then they become a client of yours or they become an ambassador of yours and start spreading your gift to their audience as well. It is golden but you have to treat it like the gold it is and not just a piece of paper that you can kick around on the street. Just saying. Question three, OMG. Why should I put myself out there on social media? Enough said, right? <laughs> no, I'm really going to answer the question, though. Um, you need to put yourself out on social media because you may have the best kept secret to getting them to where they want, what they need, where they're going to their next level, but they don't know about it if you're sitting at home meditating on your couch cushions. So in order for you to get your message out there, to get your point across, to get to the next level, guess what? You're going to have to put it out there. They're not going to come knocking at your door asking for you to save them. Guess why? Because they don't know you exist. So how can they come and find you if they don't know you're there? So that's why you need a website. That is your hub. That's where you want all your business transactions to happen. Social media is for social, for you to entice them so that you can make your connections from online to offline. So basically, you have social media channels to push them to your hub so that you can sell them and then you can make a lifelong loyal 
client or customer. So that is why you need to be on social media. You need to have a strategic line in place. If you're just sitting up there putting bowls of cereal on there or a t-shirt or something like that, yeah, you probably don't see the benefit because you're not doing it the right way. There is a strategy, there are skills, and there is points that need to be in place for it to work correctly. You can't just throw a shirt on there and call it a day. You can't just sit up there and talk about what you ate today and say you're a blogger. Come on, somebody. Not that. It is not the look. But you know what? As long as you have a message and a gift and you start putting it out there the correct way, you will start seeing traction. That is why you need to be on social media. Final question. Why should all of my handles be the same? <sighs> Let's who saw. Let's who saw. The reason why all your handles should be the same is because you want everybody who's following you to have a reference point. All of my handles are DR a D Finch Facebook Twitter Instagram Pinterest snapchat anchor all dr a D Finch that way all they have to do is type it in there and they will get me on all channels they don't have to think about it all they have to do is put those little letters in there and they have found me on whatever cha channel I'm on and then all of those channels lead where? Back to my hub, the website hub, so that they can come find me and so that they can network with me and then we can build a off and online and offline relationship. I always want that to happen. Just saying. So thank you so much for listening to my answers today. And remember, keep the questions coming. If you have some questions, please put them in the comments below. And you know that I will definitely answer them there, or I'll even make another video about them. Next week's topic is dun, 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 dun. social media campaigns. So until next time.